How does God see me in Christ? In Christ. How does God see me? The phrase, in Christ, appears several times in the Bible. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 14. Philippians chapter 1 verse 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God, according to Colossians chapter 3 verse 3. He exchanges our sin for his righteousness when we come to Christ as broken sinners, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. We are even called his children if we repent and accept Jesus' death on our behalf, John chapter 1 verse 12, Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. God no longer sees our flaws. Instead, he sees his own son's righteousness, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. God sees Christ's righteousness covering us because we are in him. Our sin debt is forgiven, our relationship with God is restored, and our eternal destiny is assured only in Christ, John chapter 3 verses 16 to 18, 2031. God sees me as a new creation in Christ, therefore, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has arrived, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. We have peace with God and are righteous in his eyes, verses 17 to 21. Rather than seeing my sin, God sees his son's righteousness. He considers me to be righteous, redeemed, sanctified, and even glorified, see Romans chapter 8 verse 30. We learn some of the ways God sees us in Christ in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 to 14. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places has been bestowed upon us in Christ, says God, verse 3. We have everything we require. Be holy and blameless before, God, we have been chosen, verse 4. Because we are in Christ, we are seen as holy and blameless. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18. We have been predestined for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. This means that God considers me to be his child, John chapter 1 verses 12 to 13. To the glory of God's glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved, says the author, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. God sees me in Christ and loves me, lavishing his abundant gifts and the riches of his grace on me, verses 7 to 8. God sees me in Christ as a heavenly treasure heir, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11, Romans chapter 8 verse 17. God considers me to be his forever possession. He sealed me with the Holy Spirit as a guarantee of our inheritance until we obtain possession of it, to the glory of God. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 to 14. God sees me as his creation, Psalm chapter 139 verses 13 to 16. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, his friend, James chapter 2 verse 23, and a chosen one, holy and beloved, Colossians chapter 3 verse 12. He sees me as dead to sin, Romans chapter 6 verse 11 but, raised with Christ, Colossians chapter 3 verse 1, as a temple of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16, as a living stone placed by a master builder, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 5, as part of, a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, verse 9, and as one of the world's, foreigners and exiles, verse 11. He is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care, God says of me, Psalm chapter 95 verse 7.